Hey, Thayer, we, uh, we saw you on the social media channels earlier this week talking about how excited you were to get back in shoe and, and play in front of 20,000 people. Can you give us an idea how today lived up to your expectations and, and what you were hoping to accomplish today? Well, I'm happy. I'm happy for our fans, you know, like even though it was like a, what well, I say, about like a year and a half since we had fans in, in the stadium, it was very good to have them back in the um, you know, shoe. You know, er, I know everybody was happy to see all our fans said, instead of like an empty stadium. So I'm happy about that. All righty, next up, we'll go to Joey Kaufman from the Columbus Dispatch. Thayer, uh, you've seen Jack Sawyer throughout um, this spring practice, and, and Coach Day mentioned that that he's had games like this throughout practices all spring. Were you surprised by what you saw today, or has he done this pretty consistently? Uh, he's been doing it very consistent, consistent because um, he's been getting work with, you know, Coach Johnson, you know, Zach, Tyreek, you know, all the veteran players that actually have played, and he's been working. He's been working, and – he has a motor, you know, and I'm just happy that he's on our team. Alrighty, next up, let's go to Spencer Holbert of Letterman Row. Thayer, how difficult is it to uh, evaluate your performance and some of the offensive line and just, just the, how the day went? How difficult is it to evaluate when you're just studding up and you're not really getting to, to really get after it today? Um, I don't think that's very difficult because what we, like, say, for instance, like when we run the ball and we get like a big game, you know, I know how we did. You know, it could it could be perfect, yes. But at the same time, I know how good we are during the play. All righty, next up we'll go to Bill Rabinowitz from the Columbus Dispatch. Hi, Fair. You've been able to watch these quarterbacks, block these quarterbacks all spring. Give me your impressions of, of where it stands. I'm not, I know you're not going to – you don't know who's going to start, but just your faith in, in, in them. You know, I feel very comfortable with all of them, you know. So, to be honest, like, it's very Tyrese. Like, it's nothing to be said about it, to be honest, because they they compete. They compete, like, every day, every single day. They want to be perfect, but also at the same time, when they do sometimes make a bad throw, I had – we all pick them up, you know. Like, they – you know, I have my bad days. Defense had their bad days, you know. And they're young too, so they they think everything everything has to be perfect, but they need to take things slow, you know. So I believe that whoever's going to be behind us in the fall, like behind me behind in the fall, it's going to do tremendous. All right, next up, let's go to Austin York, Letterman Row. There, when you look back and evaluate, you know, these fifteen workouts for spring, is there anything you feel like you guys didn't accomplish or still needed to do if you'd had maybe five or ten more days? You know, I think this spring for us is was like one of our best springs. You know, like even though like last year we didn't have we didn't have a spring, you know, we didn't have fans at during fall, you know. But this spring has been one of the best springs that I've been a part of, you know, I've been a part of like three now. So um I'm happy that I'm happy with where we're at right now, but all, at the same time, we're all not satisfied where we're at as well because we got goals that we want um, to accomplish as well. All righty. And last question for Thayer. we got Zach Harrison ready for you. We'll go to Nathan Baird, Cleveland.com. Thayer, I guess just uh, with the quarterbacks looking ahead to the rest of the off season, um, what, what sort of has to happen? In Are you all looking for someone to just give you guys – um, something that you'll, you'll just know when you see it as far as like who, who ultimately wins this job and how important is it that someone emerges and, and sort of becomes that guy who the, the rest of the team has that kind of ultimate confidence in? To be honest, like it, it would say like, it wouldn't take that long to be honest, but um, I believe that whoever's going to be behind me or the starting office alignment, you know, when we play Minnesota, of course, like, Everybody knows it's going to be that guy, you know. But as of right now, I'm just happy where our core base is at right now.